Hey guys, Chris Dick here. Uh, today we're going to be working with some of our uh, related objects in our student uh, model. We have in the student model we have our uh, addresses, uh, email address, and student courses. And um, there's a few ways I'm going to show you how to do this. Uh, today, this lesson here is going to be, be about using uh, Entity Framework to do that. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be displaying it <clears throat> in, uh, in an area in our student details page. So here I'm just copying and pasting so I don't have to do too much extra typing. So from here we're going to be using our student or, or our addresses collection. Okay. And we're going to display our addresses in a UL tag uh, uh, below all this information here. So as you recall, addresses is a, uh, a list. Uh, it's actually a collection or a hash, uh, hash set. And uh, each one, each entry in the addresses is one address. So we're going to pull each one of those models is going to be an address model. Whoops, not a number there we go that's it okay all right and I'm gonna call each one of those um, each one of those entries uh, just simply items or item and we're gonna pull from here from the addresses okay so <clears throat> as you recall everything that we're going to be doing here is going to be in a list so we have to wrap it in uh, LA li tags and We'll just start typing out uh, the information that we want to display. So I'm going to show street uh, number. Okay. Uh, we add a space and then we do item dot street name. Okay. We add a comma, item dot city, comma, item dot and province state, and then we have item dot postal code, whoops, not province state again, postal code, okay, and the last one here is our country, well, we go into, right into the detail here, all right, a lot of students come from different countries too, so, okay, so this, uh, the entity framework is uh, naturally the fastest way to do it, but it's, but uh, what you're going to see is that, uh, you know, as you develop your sites uh, based around uh, different types of technologies. Uh, some work better than the others and it really all depends on the end user and where you're where you're located, where that user is located. So if it's you know somewhere very far from the base server, it's going to take more time for the data to get there. So you may have uh, some thoughts on whether you want to use client side or server side coding to send that data up. Uh, it takes longer to load a page uh, of information if you're bringing it from the server. So you may choose client side to get the data, uh, get, get the page to display faster, uh, but the data still requires the same amount of time round trip. So it's just a, just a question of whether you're, what, you, uh, what your end users will, uh, will respect. <coughs> All right, so let's, um, let's play this. Okay, we're almost up here. This, um, the first load, as you recall, always takes a little bit longer, and that's just going to display our home page. And then from the home page, we're going to select our uh, students index, and then we'll select one of the students from the index. Okay, here we are. So from this, we'll select students. All right, so our student index has displayed, and then we just simply click on one of the details, and this will bring the page up that we're working on, and we have uh, what looks like six addresses from from our list. So very quickly, we've got uh, we've got our relational objects starting to display. Pretty straightforward so far. All right, so that's it for this video. Uh, remember to like and share, and please subscribe. Uh, we'll catch you in the next one where we start talking about using jQuery and client-side coding. Thanks, guys.